Hello, I'm Donald McIntyre, founder of Etherplan. This is my presentation about the 10 principles for blockchain governance. 1. Trust minimization. To reduce the reliance on trusted third parties for entering, processing and finalizing transactions and smart contracts. Trusted third parties are security holes because they hold our money and wealth, they hold our personal data, manage everything on centralized servers, they can be hacked and they can behave badly. Traditional trusted third parties are, amongst others, banks, credit card companies, tech companies and apps, certification authorities, corporations, governments. Blockchains have trusted, trusted third parties as well. For example, developers, miners, validators, node operators and other kinds of participants and stakeholders. However, blockchains are trust minimized because they have no central authority, data is distributed amongst many nodes globally, Cryptographic components protect property and agreements. The consensus mechanism prevents tampering. The coordination problem prevents community collusion. So what problems does trust minimization solve? It eliminates central control and authority of blockchain networks, significantly reduces vulnerability to single points of failure, reduces trusted third party costs, reduces trusted third party delays, it expands access to larger populations worldwide. Two, immutability. Accounts, balances, and smart contracts can be mod cannot be modified except by holders of corresponding private keys by entering transactions according to protocol rules. Immutability is really about the integrity of property and agreements. Property and freedom of contract are, are represented by accounts, balances, and smart contracts on public blockchains. Therefore, they need to be immutable to protect property and agreement security. The phrase corresponding private keys means that there should not be any alternative way of modifying accounts, balances and smart contracts. That includes, but is not limited to, hard forks, changes of state, ad hoc transactions, backdoors or any third party account freezing mechanisms. 3. Fungibility. Native tokens must all be the same and interchangeable globally. Establishing the native token as a generally accepted medium of exchange significantly helps the underlying economics of a blockchain network. It is an important component of the price system due to its common acceptance, ability to communicate price information, ease of use, and reduced mental costs. 4. Finality. Transactions and executed smart contract code cannot be reversed once entered, processed, and finalized according to protocol rules. Irreversibility creates certainty and helps the free and continuous circulation of capital globally. Blockchains, with their shorter finality turnover times, also reduce capital costs in the economy by freeing capital faster and reducing settlement and transaction default rates. 5. Censorship resistance. As long as they are compliant with protocol rules, transactions or smart contracts cannot be prevented from being entered, processed and finalized. Censorship resistance is about not censoring transactions or smart contracts. 6. Permissionlessness. As long as they are compliant with protocol rules, anyone from any place in the world can create accounts, enter transactions and smart contracts, or participate in the network as a com competent developer, miner, validator, node operator, user, or any other prescribed participant or stakeholder. Permissionlessness is similar to censorship resistance, but it's really about censoring people. It's really about not censoring people. Censoring users or any other network participant or stakeholder by geography, nationality, culture, ideology, or any other human condition should not be allowed. 7. Auditability. Transaction and smart contract history must be analyzable and reconcilable by anyone or by holders of corresponding private keys. Auditability is about the availability of information for verification purposes. The phrase, or by holders of corresponding private keys, applies in the case of zero-knowledge blockchains where the information were not, may not be available publicly, but it should be to account and smart contract private key holders. 8. Reconcilability. Transaction and smart contract history must match mathematically to the latest and all future states according to protocol rules. Reconcilability reinforces immutability because it solves two controversial points in blockchain debates. 
A, it invalidates the argument that a change of state or ad hoc transaction does not violate immutability because they don't change the transaction or smart contract history. An example of this was the DAO hard fork. And B, it invalidates the argument that when there is out of blocking proof of private key ownership, then a change of state or arbitrary ad hoc transaction is valid. An example of this is the EIP 867 that proposed a standard for funds recovery on Ethereum. 9. Least authority. Developers, miners, validators, node operators, users, and, and all other prescribed participants and stakeholders must limit their part participation to practicing only the functions of their roles in accordance with protocol rules and these common principles. To ensure social scalability, blockchain communities need to focus on network functionality, security, and new features. All legal, ethical, or, or moral considerations need to be set aside and resolved off blockchain between the private parties. 10. Adherence. Developers, miners, validators, node operators, users, and all other participants and stakeholders must make sure they collectively decide and implement changes to the protocol in accordance with these common principles. To guarantee the benefits of trust minimization, immutability, property rights, freedom of contract, wide adoption and social scalability of their networks globally, blockchain communities need, need to make sure they comply with these principles when implementing future changes. These are the principles in one page. These are the credits and suggested videos and reading. Thank you very much.